Hello, I'm Brent First from the Bearded Man Studios, and I'm sorry it's been a while since I continued my videos. Uh, just lots of crazy life-changing things. But I'm back, and that's all that matters. So, I'm going to continue our networking series to show you how to customize or serialize your own custom scripts. Uh, in the last one, we saw how we use the network view in order to serialize the transforms and all of that, and now we're going to do our custom variables. So, I'm going to create that capsule again. Let's create a capsule. There we go. And I'm going to uh, add a network view to it. So network view. And this is where we're going to be replacing right here, this observed uh, component socket. So I'm going to first drag my network menu onto my main camera so that I don't forget that. And now I'm going to create the script. I'm going to create uh, C Sharp. I'm going to call this custom serialization and open that guy up alright so here we are so in my custom serialization I want to be able to serialize variables I say to serialize so uh, let's do private void this is a built-in unity uh, 3d function um, kinda like the update it's just for it's serialized so on serialize network view uh, this takes in a bit stream, stream, and a message info. Uh, sorry, a network uh, message info, info. All right. So uh, what I want to do in here is say if uh, stream dot is writing. So if we are the network view owner, we're writing it. Else, we're reading it. We're uh, receiving the data. So I need some data to send. I think a uh, public float health is in order to see our health. I made it public so that I can see it in the inspector when I go to test it. And all we need to do to send it across the network is say stream dot serialize. It wants a reference to the the variable. So we have a boolean ca uh, character float and network view. Uh, our network player, network view ID, quaternion for rotations, shorts, uh, vector three for like scale and tra uh, trans uh, and transposition, uh, or just position, I guess is the easiest way to say it. Float, etc. So we want to pass in a reference to our health. Now on the other side that's receiving it, we want to put it in order. We want to say serialize, uh, or sorry, stream dot serialize. I always spell serialize wrong. Ref health. So the receiver will then get that update. So for, for us to see this, uh, I want to actually do a uh, private, uh, let's do uh, void update. We're just going to say if input dot get key down key code dot space. So if you press the space bar, health minus equals 10. And let's also, uh, to prove a point, I'm going to say uh, if input dot get key key code dot uh, up arrow so if we press the up arrow transform dot position plus equals vector three dot up multiplied by time dot delta time multiplied by five and likewise if we press the down arrow key I want to move the capsule down and you will see why I'm doing this soon enough dot down and okay so I'm serializing my health and I'm changing my health and my position so I'm gonna go ahead and build this guy out so build build and run demo I'm just gonna overwrite my old one now I'm gonna play and I wanna host on my uh, window here because I want it to be in control of uh, of what well I want it to be the owner of the network view for this capsule uh, so I'm gonna host here and over here I'm going to connect now I want it to be the owner of the network view so that when I press spacebar over here I can see the values change in the inspector if I was the owner inside of unity if I press spacebar I won't see the changes here because I don't have an inspector to view it on and I didn't put up a UI for it uh, so this will not work uh, because you'll see if I press spacebar 
uh, the health is not going to change because we didn't apply the script to anything. Wow, I feel silly. Let's first apply the script to this capsule. So I'm going to apply the custom script here. If I were to build this out, you'll see that it will not work from the start. I want to prove it to you because you guys believe that I'm a liar. That I just make stuff up. I just completely... Alright, so... I'm going to play, I'm going to host over here, and I'm going to connect over here. Now, if I press spacebar here, health does not change. It's changing over here on the server, but it's not changing here. So I want it to change on the client when I press spacebar on the server. So in order to do that, we need to serialize this script. And to do that, all you have to do is drag the script name into the observed socket of your network view. Now, automatically, we are sending that health across the network. So when I press play over here, after this builds out, play. I'm going to host here. I'm going to connect here. Connect. Now, when I click over here on this window and press spacebar, you'll see that the health changes. Now, if I press the up arrow, our object is not moving press down arrow the objects not moving well that's because we're no longer observing the transform we're observing this custom script we can fix that so uh, we can pat you would think that we can normally just pass the transform position across the network so if I tried that if I tried this and I just pasted it down there you're gonna see that it won't work I have a red squiggly it says the pro a property indexer dynamically member cannot be passed as a reference parameter. This is because you can't do stuff like this. You can't say uh, transform dot position. Well, this is not because this is another reason you can't do something like this. So, for example, because this is uh, a return value, this x is a return value. It's not actually accessing that variable. We can't do that. Uh, so, to fi fix this. We need to create a vector3, uh, let's just call this a dummy variable that takes care of it. And we're going to assign it to the position. And we're going to pass the position across the network. Likewise, we need to receive that position on the other side of the network because we can't just do this. So I'm going to just make a blank vector3 here and output that and then I can say transform.position equals pos. So now I can I can send this across the network. I know that this uh, creates garbage collection because we're creating a instance variable instead of this function but uh, it's something we have to do to get the position to go across. So now that I've added the position in this method, so I have my health first, I'm receiving my health first, I have my position second, I'm receiving my position second, and uh, I'm using this host here to uh, take the input and then I'm just assigning that to our position. So if I save this, build and run, and I just overwrite it. Alright, play, host, let's play over here. I'm going to select my capsule, connect. All right, I'm going to press spacebar. You're going to see that the numbers go down for the health, and now I'm going to move them up and down. You're going to see that it moves across the network now that I've sent it across the network. So that's that for uh, your own custom serialization. Uh, I hope this helps, and in the next video, we'll probably do something about RPC calls, which are remote procedure calls, um, so that you can see how you can send, uh, you can call functions across the network. So uh, thanks for your patience, and I hope to see you very soon.